All right, we're back here with Dr. Siegel now. He's coming in. Now, explain to us the procedure of taking the blood and what you do with the blood. Uh, basically, what we're going to do is, uh, just like any phlebotomy or taking of blood, uh, we're going to go ahead, use everything has been sterilized. Uh, we're going to get some great veins here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use uh, these green top tubes. Basically, there's uh, uh, nothing in them. Uh, uh, once we go ahead and since we're going to be doing both shoulders, since we've already uh, implanted the stem cells, we'll be doing the uh, uh, PRP to go ahead and try to get the, the stem cells to adhere with the natural tissue of yourself to go ahead and start to heal the shoulders a little bit quicker. Mm -hmm. So since we're doing both shoulders, we're take a lot more blood. Uh, we're gonna, of course, we're going to take a, a lot more blood. Then what we're going to go ahead and do is put it into a specialized machine, spin it down so we can take the centrifuge. Uh, yeah, centrifuge it out. Uh, take From it. a vial like this, Doc, how much? How much like platelet? How much stuff do you actually get out of a vial like this? Uh, it's amazing to see. We'll probably get about that much total blood out, right. but we'll probably get Usable. about this much actual plasma. So it's like a third. So we're getting about a third, which basically will will increase the uh, 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 healing factors between six to 800 times. Wow. Because we're going to be getting rid of a lot of the red blood cells, white blood right. cells, of the things that we don't utilize for healing mm -hmm. uh, uh, properties gotcha. to. Uh, something of this nature. Now, the the PRP injections are they more or less painful than the stem cells? Uh, much much less painful. Really? Yeah. And I didn't even yeah. I didn't even feel anything. Okay. Yeah, much less painful. But of course, we drain me. <laughs> all right, we'll get you all set. Here, one, two, three. Done. Beautiful. And we'll go ahead and just draw our blood. It's amazing how many people who take blood from me, even in the hospital, the miss miss my veins because they're squiggly. Yeah. They think they're so <laughs> pronounced that they're easy. Yeah, sometimes they, you have very pronounced uh, veins. Some uh, they actually call rolling veins. Mm -hmm. Veins are just like muscles. Uh, they will contract and uh, extend. And unfortunately, they don't like being irritated. So sometimes even when drawing blood, the veins will contract and pull away from the vein itself. Now, how many, how many vials will be necessary to get enough to put in both shoulders? On the average, we use uh, approximately three vials per shoulder. Oh, okay. So, so um, we we'll do six vials. Yeah, so we'll do a total of six vials. Six vials of my blood. It's a lot of growth factors there, Johnny Styles. Mm -hmm. How's it? Is that it? So what are we looking at, Doc? Right now we're just looking at the glenohumeral joint. And the good part is we see the increased in density here is the cartilage, mm -hmm. the white portion. The little spicules that you see here are all new cartilage. So it grew that fast? And they grow for pretty fast. In two weeks, huh? And we can see, remember last time it was a little ragged. It's starting to get a little bit smoother, but still very, very ragged. The more white it is, the newer the cells. And we can see even through here, here's the old portion, here's new, new cells already starting to form. Remember last time it was very flat, it's starting to round out a little bit and it's only after a couple of weeks, which is nice. But again, this is a whole process, so it's gonna take a problem. And those stem cells will continue well. to grow. Most definitely. It'll take All right, so we have our platelets and you can see how the separation has occurred. The platelets are on top which is what I call liquid gold. So that's the, the liquid part is the part we're looking for. From here to here. Everything that we don't need, such as all the red blood cells, white blood cells, are all inferior to the line in through here. It's all that dark red. All that dark red. The, the junk, essentially. That's all the stuff that we don't need. Interesting. Yellow gold, like it. We're going to take our 18 gauge needle. We're going to go in, and we're just going to go nice and slow because we don't want to upset our plasma. So you're using a big, big We're using needle. a big 18 gauge needle so we can go ahead and get our plasma. And we're gonna get as much as we can because we don't want to waste any of this wonderful, wonderful healing property, properties of this, bone, of this uh, blood work. So now in there we have the, the platelets that have been basically what? broken down and they've released their growth factors and that's pretty all the, all the growth factors are right in this plasma. 
doing with 10, a PRP. 10 mLs are going to go in here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I want to make sure that we go ahead and And, uh, and we're not using the 18-gauge needle to put it in my joint. No. <laughs> we're using a 25, very much, much smaller. But again, large enough so we don't uh, uh, destroy any of the, uh, the cells that are going in. And I'm going to do a subacromial approach so we get right into the glenohumeral joint as well. And I want to put a little bit into the supraspinatus region as well. So I find my landmark, which is right here. I'm going to clean that off like that, just with a little bit of alcohol. And of course, we did use Providina earlier. And we're going to go right into the joint. And we'll know we're right in the joint because we're going to see the entire needle just go away. And we're going to start to instill the plasma. As you can see, the plunger's going in without any resistance. And do you feel that going in? Yeah. That's what I like. Patient comfort. <laughs> I guess you numbed it up good. That's what we want. Wow. Well, that went in there pretty easy. We're right in that joint. Love it. And we would just withdraw it. And you can see there's no bleeding because we went directly into the joint itself. And of course, there's no blood in the joint. And we'll just clean just that little bit of PRP off. And I'm just going to put a Band-Aid over. And then we're just going to range of motion the shoulder to let it bathe the entire glenohumeral joint. And go ahead and bring the arm up as high as you can. Beautiful. Beautiful. I'm going to hold it there. We're going to bring it across the chest nice and easy. We're going to bring it out. We're going to abduct as high as we can. And as long as we get past 120 degrees, and then we come down. And then bend the elbow for me. And then we're just going to internally rotate nice and easy. Beautiful. And we're going to go, oh, sorry. And we're going to go right across. Excellent. And her right shoulder is done. Soft tissue was starting to sp spread. That's I'm when the sure PRP going in there? Yeah, and in fact, I'm going to go ahead and... I'm going to go ahead and... I'd like to go ahead and let's use that once more. So when we get to the screen, you'll actually see this, the tissue spread as we... And all, and that, all that, that. that plasma that's going in there, what, what is this tissue doing, just absorbing it? The tissue will absorb it, and it'll get into the, into the fibers and actually heal it. It will get into the stem cells, and you can also see the blackness has been increasing, which means that there's more fluid in the glenohumeral joint. It almost looks like synovial fluid, the, the plasma. Most definitely, there. most definitely. I've had some synovial fluid drawn out of a joint before. It looks right. exactly like it. it. Exactly, on, on ultrasound. And you can see the difference. It looks like it in the, in the, from the, in the, from, from the syringe, from. it looks like it. Yep. All right, we just finished the PRP uh, therapy on my both shoulders. Obviously, we got one more shot to go in two weeks. True. Uh, I'm in no pain whatsoever. I got to say, you got a great That's touch. True. Thank Hopefully, you. I won't, later I won't be like, damn, it hurts. No, but <laughs> no. I, I really don't feel that, anything right now. Yeah, you, 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 won't, you won't have any pain whatsoever. It's now, once good. again, just to reiterate, uh, just, I know people have heard this before, mm -hmm. but the, the PRP will nourish, help the stem cells adhere and grow. Correct. Correct? Correct. It'll also help the rotator cuff. It'll help mm -hmm. the muscular tendinous portions of all the muscles within the entire shoulder girdle. Mm -hmm. uh, if there are any interstitial tears, uh, it'll go ahead and reinforce those oh, so, so it, like it doesn't nice tear down as well. There. Most definitely. So it'll help the uh, hard tissue, which is the cartilage, as well as the soft tissue, uh, being the tendons, ligaments, as well as the, uh, the uh, musculature as well. Now, we know the stem cells last, what, you said six weeks, I think, in there? Uh, approximately six weeks for, it, again, a, a whole process. Uh, since we nourished it, it's going to take the uh, stem cells and adhere to the old cartilage mm -hmm. and the old stem cells, uh, and with the PRP, it'll just reinforce it almost like a glue. How long will the PRP glue. last in the joint? The PRP will last, uh, I've had patients that I did three years ago. 
Really? Uh, and they're still. But as far as the potency of it, what it does, like in other words, whatever growth aspect of it does, whatever adherence aspect, mm -hmm. does it last a week, two weeks? I mean, how long does it usually do its thing for that while it's in there? Oh, it it it, it it'll, it'll last a minimum six to six to ten weeks. Oh, that long. So yes, when we when we hit it with the second PRP, we're really just we're we're throwing like a almost like most a definitely. a second wave of attack. Exactly, man. just a super a super potency to the joint, which gotcha. is wonderful. Well, once again. It's a pleasure. Dr. Siegel, thank you so much. And, my pleasure. Uh, keep an eye on my road to recovery with the uh, shoulder regeneration here at uh, Dr. Siegel's office. Uh, stay tuned for part three.